Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the price of gold again. Now gold is a really interesting commodity because it kind of acts as a hedge against inflation and market volatility. But also this year what we've seen is that instead of being that traditional hedge, the US dollar has taken a lot of that bear the brunt of being the hedge and gold has actually followed along with a lot of other growth assets. However, in recent times, we've started to see a little bit of a recovery in the price of gold after that initial breakout of its trading range and a weakening of the US dollar. So as we go have a look at the charts, um, as we've stated previously, we've firstly got a nice bounce off the 200 week moving average. And in addition, um, something that's been really positive and we can see is tends to be pretty reflective of upward moves is we've got this fast moving average that during the middle of a couple of weeks ago finally decided to cross back over that slow moving average. I've also got a cross um, uh, of the MACD rather back over that level over here. So we've got, a, the, you know, the positive side of the histogram. So we've got at least some positive buying coming back. We do want to note that we are seeing the short term kind of resistance point at the 50 week moving average. And on the long term chart, as we can see, when we've had these crosses, we tend to see some pretty strong upward moves in the very, sh in at least in the, the relatively short term. Um, as we know, we've got this long term top at about $2,080 US, that is, of course, and this range of about $1,670. So, look, really interesting to note that we've got this kind of consolidation and then bounce back up into the range. And if we extend out the time frame, I'm sure we'll get a better look at that. Yeah, as you can see, a pretty big candle. It's taken out the previous two months, um, which is a pretty bullish sign um, for November. And look, as we know, we're about to finish November. We are about to come to the end. And again, this, this kind of strong support here on that also 50 month moving average is a really uh, strong sign. We may see a reversal very shortly. So we'll move that back to the one week. And now I'll move over to the daily chart, which is of course our the best chart to look at for you know those trading timeframes. As we can see, we've spoken about this double bottom before. Um, this double bottom over here, and we saw that reflected in the um, in the weekly chart in that kind of consolidation. Now what we've got is we've had this breakthrough of um, the 200 day moving average and the we haven't yet tested this 50 day moving average. We got close and weren't able to break through. And now we've got this period of consolidation. So let's just zoom in a little bit closer and we'll see what we have with what we what we're looking at rather. So so far in this consolidation, we bounced off the original neckline, which is a really good sign. And now we're kind of just treading water in between the top and the bottom. Almost like a We've got almost like a triangle forming over here. And so the question remains, well, what happens next? Now, what we would like to see, of course, is a breakout to the upside. Um, and then our targets, you know, end up being kind of the top of the range or even somewhere in the middle for a pretty decent um, risk return. You know, we could probably set our stops around here. Or alternatively, we see another breakdown. And perhaps another move um, to the upside. Something I would like to, to make a bit clear, and this is really interesting, um, and we saw it before with that consolidation. So what tends to happen is patterns form in other patterns, right? So we had this base, we'll go back to the weekly. We had this base over here, and a base, of course, is a consolidation, potential reversal pattern. But what we notice, whoops, sorry, just guys, bear with me. What we notice here, is that it was actually a double bottom. So shorter time frames will show you patterns that you would um, that you may not see in the long term, but support the idea of a potential reversal. And one thing that I have started to notice on this chart, and it may not be super clear initially, maybe even if we make it a three day chart, it might be a little bit clearer, is the emergence of perhaps a reverse or an inverse head and shoulders pattern. So we, which is again, reflective of a double of a reversal pattern. So what we see is we've got, you know, the potential there, head, 
Um, sorry, I'll just make this a little bit clearer so it doesn't look like a double bottom. And let's just see. So what we could, we've got is you've got your your shoulder, your shoulder, and you've got your head. And this neckline is about here. So any breakout there, you know, should go to the upside. But the point being that when you're looking at charts and you start seeing multiple patterns that support a breakout, it tends to be even more reflective um, or more indicative of a, you know, a strong breakout or reversal hopefully occurring. But there you go, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that technical analysis and good luck trading.